Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a copy link button like this to your website. This can be really helpful if the user wants an easy way to just copy the existing website URL to their clipboard. So let's just jump into the back end and show you how easy this is to set up. So in this example, I wanted to add this copy link button just to our blog post template. So on this website, I already have all of our blog posts set up and it pulls in the single blog post template. So up here, I just wanted to add a copy link button. So if we jump back into the template, you can see what we have set up right here. We just have a button widget and then we have an HTML widget. So the first thing you need to do is set up your button. So in this case, you can see I'm using just a simple uh, button widget in Elementor. I just changed the text to copy link and I'll show you two different alternatives. The very first one is you need to put in the pound or hash symbol right here underneath link. And then just jump over into your CSS ID. And in this uh, case, we're just calling it copy and then URL. That's all you have to do to set up your button. Then what you need to do is just drop in an HTML widget. And we're going to be using this pretty simple JavaScript to pull off that functionality. So I'm leaving a link in the description below where you can just download this uh, JavaScript. And all you're going to need to do is just change out this ID right here. So if you called your button something different than copy URL, you just need to replace that right here. And the rest of the code is pretty simple. It's just listening for the click. And what it's going to do is copy that existing URL to your clipboard. And then it's going to give you an alert that says URL copied successfully. So you can always change that text if you want. And then if there is some sort of an issue, we have a fallback where it says error copying URL to clip forward. So it's good to kind of have a fallback just in case it doesn't work for some reason. So if you view this on the front end, when you click this, that's what it says right here, URL copied successfully. So like I said, you can always change that pop-up. And then you can see the user can just paste that in and that is the existing URL right here. And that's how easy it is to add that copy link button to your website. So one thing you might notice is, let's say you scroll down the page a little bit, and if the user clicks this, you're gonna notice it's gonna jump back up into the top of the page while it gives that alert. So let me show you an example. So you can see when I click that, that works, everything's working great, but it jumps to the top of the page. And that's because this right here is referring back to the beginning of the page with a hash symbol. So one cool little trick I found out is we can eliminate that jump if you want. And in this case, I'm just gonna be using Elementor Pro with a little bit of CSS. So let me show you what we have to do. So if you go back into your button and underneath content, just remove that pound. So there's nothing in here at all. And then what you're gonna to need to do is jump over into advanced. And if you jump down into CSS, just paste in this code right here. Selector, hover, cursor is pointer. Because by default, whenever you have this empty right here, the browser doesn't think it's a button, so it's not gonna change the cursor. So that's what this little CSS code is doing, is just forcing the browser to change the cursor to pointer so the user knows that there is something there with a link. So now if we hit update and refresh this page, if we get rid of this right here and refresh the page, now I'm halfway down the page and if I click this, it doesn't jump over into the top of the page. So let me do that again. So you'll notice it doesn't you know, jump all the way back up. So this is the approach I recommend because if you do have this copy link somewhere else, that could be kind of a bad user experience to have it jump all the way up. So just add that little bit of CSS and you should be good to go. And that's it for this Elementor tutorial on how to create a copy link button for your website. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.